Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to episode 37 of our Million Let's Play. We continue here from turn 109 as we look to push out the Sons of the Mountains, I think that's what they're called. Yes, sound, uh, Sons of the Mountains, Ogre uh, tribe here. And we'll start with Melian's own army. We'll be moving up against their camp. Ooh, wait, they have another army behind? I really want a delegate, but there's an army behind. But I think I still probably could get away with delegating. It's such a small force. Yeah, the loss is really a number that we can ignore. I'm going to get leadership boost. I don't want to lose the 5% replenishment. We are still in our own territory. Uh, the boundary is a little weird. Yeah, so we'll be replenishing just fine. Old news. We have a new mission. To wipe out this faction, this army here. That actually works well, actually. Altal's army can do that. Even though Kairos is behind. Alchemist of the House of we'll pop back in. We'll have enough movement to fight this. They could run, but we'll see what happens. Now over here, they also have a camp to remove. This is actually a decent army. I underestimated them. Warden of the Great Bastion. Favored daughter. I cannot attack them. Not enough movement. Lord reporting. All right, we're gonna have to remove this camp as well. This will be slightly different because we'll be Such in enemy territory. Hmm. Child of the nine. Our replenishment is an issue because we'll end up in the enemy territory. Only what I listen to is me. I feel Lord, like our play should actually be we, we overstepped. Wherever Cafe needs me. Should be to ambush here. And potentially bait with him. Seeking tactical advantage. To see if he'll take the bait. None may direct my recipes. Because he's not going to be fighting Mao Ying here. We can also ambush on this side to see if he advances forward. Hmm. We'll consider it. Alright, that went well. This army here. It's not an easy fight. Great unclean one. Three flyers. It also has the weapons against the flying, but we kind of lack the punch on the ground. But I think we'll be fine. He's gonna run. There's a backup army here. Two stacks. I am not sure how to proceed here. We could force the push here. He can't retreat anymore, so we get a wipe if we win this fight. And then I, I would think obeyed. we would have enough movement to march back to the Volary, which would be crucial. Because if we ignore him and let him live, then it's just two armies sieging Volary and we have a disaster on our hand. I think we have to take him out and just hope the movement works. I'm actually pretty tempted to take the delegate here. Because these don't fight well, but I think they delegate quite well. I want to see the result here. It looks... I mean, they're giving us low. For once, it looks favorable. Wow. They delegate really well. There's no way we could have fought this cleanly. Because the only... Like... I guess, okay, I see what's going on. So basically, like, the the AI is sending out our flying units and our infantry up front, right? All the range are super safe in the Delegate. And then the Terracotta takes some damage, but they're fine. So we end up with such a small number here. That's beautiful, actually. We take the 3%. And we try our best to march back. We can't make it. Adorn my chamber in finery. This is Erect a shrine bad, to our but at least we're close enough to get the garrison to reinforce us, which makes us pretty safe. It's a almost level five city, um, so it's decent garrison inside. 
Gonna take metal shifting. Hmm, Cao Cao. This is an interesting setup for him. I think we can still work on spells first. Or... We could look at something like Mighty Charge, because we actually have three or five Long Mats in our army. And we can get a bunch of charge bonus for them, which makes them more effective. And then Unified Charge is pretty good for our army as well. And then definitely Eastern Fire for the four cannons that we have. But this first, I think. It's either this or we make Tautal stronger, but I don't think Tautal needs to be stronger for this army. I think the units need to be a bit stronger. We're just on hold here. This might get sieged by Kairos. And we're prepared to lose it, as I mentioned before. It's not a big issue here. He's sent up here to help kill whatever agent that might show up, and we have more than enough new Astromancers to come out to take care of this empty spot here. I think I want to keep his army around a little bit longer. I don't want to deal with three more. We'll let him hang out. Not a big deal. We'll go down and take a break. And we have our Southern Army, who is doing super well to the point where we're considering a direct attack against Grimtop against four or five stacks. Which was just kind of unthinkable before. But now I think it's actually doable. Well, first we kill this Butcher. Another one coming on the way. That's a camp. We're very healthy. I can drag them outside of their camp. Or outside the garrison. I demand... This is a very daring attack, but I think the enemy units are all very poor. And we actually stand a pretty good chance. They have way too many lords, but our cannons are pretty good at sniping them. And there's two different reinforcement timers as well. I think we can do this. I mean, we're doing it. They have been pretty amazing, I have to say. I think, in terms of naming, since we are most likely keeping this army, we might actually go with something like Sun Ce, because everyone doubted him when he went south, and he proved everyone wrong. Right, so they only have one of their four stacks. We have the high ground. This is beautiful. That's... A very small force. Most of them are coming from behind, which is just cannot ask for a better setup. Okay, so um, something like this, All right? We kind of worry about the angle here, but we'll ignore that for the most part. Crossbowmen. The snow is going to be really bright, hey, isn't it? Crossbows. And we just overload the front, and we just kind of ignore that side for a little bit. Because as long as we hold this front, it should be fine. I want to be close enough to give these units the buff, but not block any shots. So I might move that unit just slightly up. That's, that's probably fine. Maybe this one's slightly up as well. Okay, and then Long spears. Mind that's what. And then we keep these two on the side in case we need them. And then we just boost the Grand Cannons here. I think I fly out, maybe we weaken him a little bit. I only have I will lead us 24 to, to use. So Pretty be. similar case. Look at that, look at that. Most of the Lord, please. Half health, almost. Perfect. Three cannons, though, you know. Makes sense. And we also have elevation. Everything's working perfectly for this to work out. Of course, we're just super accurate as well. <laughs> they just bounce. These little cannonballs. I'll use it on him, though. 
I don't see why we don't use it. There's a cooldown, so you know, why wait? He's out of range. He survives for this time being, but we'll be fine. No friendly fire, right? Okay, it's gotta be super unlucky if we're on the same elevation as our cannon shots. But just in case, we'll, we'll loop around the line of sight. They're finally outside of our range, and they're waiting for their reinforcements to show up. Good, this group came first, so they're actually gonna group together, I think. Which will eliminate our flanking concerns. They're gonna get a lot of units. 20. No large army setup. Or they're getting everyone. They're getting everyone. Okay, so it's large army setup again. I guess it's only when we have the option that the, the system will ask us whether we want it or not. That rock is really good. Alright, here they come. I'm gonna slow down. We got a lot of summons we can use. This is our best summoning army. We're gonna wait till they get into range before we start summoning things. And they're spread out really, really wide. It's almost nothing dangerous, like I don't know where I want my summons to be, but I guess we can start here. Just in front of them. Oh, we discovered the Nobbler. Ooh, they might throw the trap on me. Which I think grounds me, which I don't want to deal with. And we just want to throw them into the fight. Anywhere will do. They're about the same in terms of unit quality and so forth. I don't know if we should use this, given that we have about 24. We could do two Talons of the Night. I get some direct damage on the Spirit Leech. There we go. Alright, they traded one for one here against Iron Guts. Pretty happy about that. Let's see if we can do some damage there. Not worried about this flank, because this rock actually doesn't provide many flank angles. So, there's really nothing to worry about there. I could also do a slow into a summon. Which I think I'll end up doing, because I, I don't want them to hit my front line that fast. We'll be back on top of them to give them the boost. Because they're about to collide. Alright, we want to buy our crossbow more time, so any unit to distract would be really good. Like that group is occupied pretty much. Get ready. There we go. I will go. I'm gonna spirit leech him. Eight wins to me. Ready to rule. All right, he's dead. Spears. Never conquer. March in ordered ranks. There's still some units on this side, but I don't know if he needs to be here. Move as win. I don't really want this group to get hit. We can summon another one very soon. The stalling process is working really well, but this is taking a little bit too much pressure. So we're gonna give them some help. And reinforcing this little flank here. We'll worry about that side when they come. Don't know when they will. All right, he's actually down. That's great. They're slow. I think we bought the time we needed. And any units that recover will get shot by our overwhelming firepower. Just from the flank is difficult. So, so we're kind of throwing our units in here. Let's make sure nothing goes wrong in this forest here. 
Repositioning. And we're just hovering for all the bonuses that from Harmony Amplifier. And those will die before they reach us. Seeking opportunity. I could cast this. It doesn't do a lot of damage. It is armor piercing. Uh, there is a blind effect, but no one's range, so it's like not really going to do much. I guess we could do it. Kiss of the, spirit like, the Winds of Magic is not getting used anyway, so we might as well get some damage down. And that's pretty much all we can contribute. Alright, we're just going to hold the line here. There's no rush. We can maybe flank that one around. They're still not moving. That's fine. I'm not complaining about that. This way. So Time to give our units a boost. I gotta fly over them though. There, there we go. Try to get all of them. Fire in the blood. Our last Without leech. Fail. I think I can just go kill Take him. Off. They don't need me anymore. That cooldown is gonna be forever, so they're not gonna get another one. They're starting to move now. That's fine. We already bought enough time. Oh, he kind of disappeared out of vision in the forest. I think he recovered. He'll come back and probably the ranged units will kill him. Oh, no, he's, he's not coming back. All right, then we're going to go kill him. Make sure he's just dead. Level one, though. Is he worth killing? Probably not, actually. All right. Basically, we're unable to throw any range pressure on these units. Therefore, or not much range pressure on these units. Therefore, they're actually doing pretty well. And that might be a similar phenomenon on that side. Let's see if we can fling a couple of these guys to a different angle. And I pull this guy back here. I trust the front. I don't think anyone's going to break through the front, actually. Right, they're fine, they're fine. I probably don't need to move them then. But I already moved them, so it's fine. Wind and fire. Push back. At once. Repositioning on gilded foot. We're saving the spirit leech. Of course. I, I think army loss is gonna get them. The ones that are not coming are probably not gonna be a factor. This way. Warriors. We don't need to chase. All right, they got wiped. I'm going to keep these two facing this way. Oh, we got the army lost. That's what I figured. We'll let the range units do a couple of their rounds just to get some shots in, kill whoever is there. There's still a grim top garrison here somewhere that needs to be killed off or at least weakened as much as we can. Cannons have so much ammo. It's kind of ridiculous. We lost a few, though. They broke through um, and killed one of our cattle setups. Or did they? Yeah, they killed one, I think. This cannon's down. But these are their dead bodies. Pound, 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 pound. All right, good enough. Heroic. Yeah, this, I think Sun Tzu is a good gender bend here. In the South, no one believed him. Suicidal mission. In this case, I'm playing as Ren Shu then, basically. It's like, go take this crappy army, see what you can do with it. Gives us the entire South. We will probably have to heal. If there's if this one doesn't pull, uh, he's gonna pull two. If he's close, I can pull them out of the garrison again. Now I have to hit the garrison. All right, so we're at level like 47, no 49. Is that correct? We're 49. We have too many heroes and lords. 49. We're almost maxed out. So these three points are important. In this case, do we make him immortal? It is the responsible thing to do. But would that be very Sun Tzu like? I think we were thinking, let's go cheap, right? Make the army just cheap, which makes some sense. We have basically four more points to play with. Use these two, we'll be down to two more points to play with. Earthing, I don't think we actually need that because we're not really doing much with Overcast at all. 
So that leaves us with two points to grab. I mean, one point for immortality, perhaps, just to safeguard the chance of him dying. And then Peasant Long Spearman getting this leadership. A charge bonus is kind of pointless. We don't really charge with them. So it's kind of a waste. So I think this is fine, because I don't see anything else that I really would want. Do I, I don't really use Cloak of Jet. We did use this. I don't think it was effective. But we did use it. All right, immortality it deserves to live. By blood right. It is yours. Oh, we name change right out here. Unbelievable. We end up with Swinsa all the way over here. And we'll try to improve their army in the future, I guess. But right now, this is doing great. I think going Peasant-Long uh, Peasant -Long Spearman is like the correct choice against the Ogres. It does really, really well. Windshaper. Now we're still dragging them here. He has well, barely any health. That's good. No Lord in this army. No Lord in this army. I feel like we can maybe get away with a Delegate. Is there... Uh, is there any other army in the north that we could potentially get hit by? That's a hero. That's a camp. I think we took out all their armies. Like, we killed like three or four over here, and then we killed three or four over here. And then with the reinforcement system, these are dead. Or one of them is going to be dead. Yeah, we just auto resolve here. We have retaken Grimtop. Courageous, very fitting for Sun Tzu now, now that we think about it. The Hit rank 50, blooded. we're done. Our last point, what do we want? What do we want? Nothing, really. Maybe Missile Mirror a little bit cheaper with this upgrade, minus two cost. Um, I still think this is pretty useful. You essentially could shut down a powerful range unit. Let's say they have a scrap launcher or iron blaster. You shut it down for uh, 36 seconds. It's it's not bad. It's really not bad. And I don't need anything else. That's it. I was born to wield it. All right, we're good. We're good. We need to get them a gender-bending alchemist and name him Zhou Yu, and this army would be all set. Um, there are still some challenges up ahead. It, first, we're imbalanced right off the bat, which happens. Happens when you take new places. Can I, can I find... Okay, so they're maxed. Is the level 2 alchemist girl... She's unfortunately young. She's not in, so that doesn't work. So I guess we have to recruit a new Astromancer. Oh, we can't do that. So we gotta fire an old Astromancer. Or perhaps, oh, there, there we go. I'm sorry you came all this way. All right, he walked all this way from the bottom. Now we have a new replacement for you. I mean, she's technically here. I think we're fine. Wait, wait, wait. Dragon blooded Shugunga. How does you rank up? Just from standing here? Perhaps. This army's not named yet. I'm, I'm not sure what they will become. But they're headed into the mountains. And they're gonna be waging war against Kairos for the foreseeable future. Yeah, that's that's the plan basically. And you, my friend, I I don't know what to do with you. I mean, he's also in, right? So it's not like I can kill both of them, get balanced. It's because I actually kind of like Lore of Yang, so it makes sense we keep that one. We're about to get this three point. I'm gonna pause it and switch off because he's not ready to die yet. He needs to get this. So that's not happening yet. We'll save it, basically. Have it on queue. Celestial and we'll upgrade ancestors. that and hopefully get a young building to balance in the future. I could... 
I mean, this one's not that useful, but this one's pretty darn useful. Minus 5%, it's upkeep. Cross-faction, we have so many armies, just, it's gonna save us some money. Um, seems like we're good. Drugodon's the army that did not move, and he's the one we're not moving, because we're keeping the rebels around a bit longer. They're not really bothering us. He's in a good, happy place. Everyone else is in a good, happy place. Only one girl who's ranked 2. But she's young, so can't really mess with her. This is good, this is good, this is good. Our caravan master did complete, I think a battle or a trip? I think a battle. Um, so not, not completely out of the woods yet. Yeah, they're still on the road and uh, they're injured, but should be fine. Ooh, granite spike. We just took this, it's rank one. I mean, we probably want to start here. It's creating an in problem next turn as well, which requires another young lord. So that's what I don't like about it. Or we can spend a little bit extra. We can start here and just go for growth first instead of income, just because our income is fine. I guess we can do that. We have so much money saved up. I'm going to try to buy out our brother if we can, like Shangyang. The the shame is is only 15 points that we can get from money. Right? So we can't get any other offer in there. So he has to value it less. Okay, we saw everything. What? Ooh. Osland. Did not expect to still I sign non-aggression packs at this point. I will. Thank you. Only Skavens that we're not trading with is going out of hand. Goldtooth had enough. Sun Tzu has floored him, but, uh, you know, obviously with him having souls, he's going to die. No peace here. Um, we could look at the Continue buildings just to check. Me. I mean, Shion's what? 58. 58 is you. not terrible, I have to say. Like, I can offer him anything that's not a major town, and we can expect to get it back somehow. So even if it's like Tower of Ashir. Ooh. That's not bad, because I can offer him enough to make 15, then he's negative 8. Then we threaten him. If he says no, we go to war. Would he say no with minus 8, though? It's hard to tell. That's worth 19 to him. Tower is worth a lot. 34. Wow. 24 for Xin Wu. Wenchang is 30. Titan's Notch for 24. That's not bad either. Sky Monolith for 19. Tides. Wait, wait, wait. This is very tradable for us. Because that's a county. That's a county. I can trade this to him. It's positive. It we the actually get Shangyang. Dragon's assistance will only be granted for good reason. I can I can pay this. It's not even a lot. Wait, I'm in shock. Wait, I any any, uh, any other building? That one's worth forty something to him. Doesn't even have a unique resource like. Yeah, what's going on? Uh, Nongchang, well that, that's not in the same, I'd rather get Xiaoyang trade for, yeah, that's beautiful. I can, I can, I mean, I, I could make it cheaper. It's okay, we got money, we don't need to do that. Boom. Cathay's might. Do I keep the rank 5? Do I keep the embassy as well that he built? He kept it balanced, which is kind of amazing, but uh, he probably built a defensive building in there. He built the one I don't want. Okay, and he did not build the resource building for Spice. He built the... Well, he has a lot of good ones, though. So first we destroy this. 
That's going to become the spice, but we're going to have to alternate that one with the income one. So what we're going to do is keep that open. Yeah, uh, it's okay. It's easy flip. Not a big deal. Uh, we can afford that. That's no problem. We got the great embassy. We have all the landmark for every single great Cath uh, Grand Cathay uh, landmark in the game. And we also get alliance point increase, diplomatic relations increase. Wow, that was easier than I thought. That's huge. I mean, like, yeah, sure, he got something he values right now. Like, he, he values this a lot, right? But it's not going to be for long. Especially, like, I know for a fact that there's a portal that opens right outside of Shrine of Alchemist right here in the same province. They'll get corruption issues, and that's when it becomes a little weaker. I can never trade for high report, but high report is not that important. We're rank one now. We can be, we can definitely become stronger. Our economy just like improved right there. I can buy this off from him eventually. It's going to improve more once we get the full province. Well, I'm just, I, I'm still in a bit of a shock that he handed that back. Or hand, or just got the trade through. Anyways, yeah, it's cause for celebration. Um, everything else is good. Alliance stuff, we didn't really take a look at, but I, I don't think there's much going on. I can take over his army. He's headed for a suicidal run into the enemy land. Do I stop him? I can take control of it, have him help my main army here to take the Great Hall, where he assists by su sort of suiciding. But I can do that next turn. Oh, he has a really good one back here. That's going to Blood Peak. Yeah, I think I'll take over this one after he takes another step forward. And then basically he'll help us take the Great Hall and uh, Ample Peak. Karakazum. This one might be saved for Melian, who's going to probably loop around to take Firemouth later. Yeah, he has no more places for me to put outposts. So the outpost that we did build is sort of wasted, but who cares? We have Shaya. The dwarves have good armies. I don't have enough. We haven't been friends long enough. And uh, obviously, there's going to be a lot of good units we can recruit in the future as well. Right. But we need more alliance points to get any of that going. The boss. Kairos. We might actually get to fight Kairos. Three points. So our percentage boosts have actually moved it from two points to three points. That's good. All right. We're, we're happy. That's That's amazing. Does does the diplomatic bonus kick in right away? The ten points that we have? Uh, probably not. It's probably a trending thing. Anyhow, let's just end. The city of smoke is poised. Are you are you asking to join me? <laughs> it's like, please, sister, take me in. Let me help you create a united Grand Cathay. It's okay if somebody's ambush is foiled. Oh, we lost the outpost. That's fine. We're now 1 point, 3 points. 3 points. Wait, 3 points. How do we end up like this? Kind of weird. I need to build this and demolish this. But we oh we need to we need to wait and get balance first before we do anything. Three points. Almost makes me like feel like I should have just picked that up, and we would have been oh right I had buildings queued up with that one. No, it wasn't just to kill the general. It was to we had buildings that were flipping. Right. Yeah, this is what happens when you record episodes across and then you like forgot what you did in the previous episodes. Um, three point is really rough to balance, not gonna lie. Like, there's not even three young characters we can grab. I can murder him now. Load 
and play play kind of a setup where yeah we can murder him now and then have have this the army go towards the hissing pit the Lord magistrate we, we adapt he doesn't die in one battle we, we, gotta, we gotta do it again hey, he killed 28 what a man those nobblers I fully. make sure he has no items Speed and unity win the day. okay they cannot I asked you to die for us Earn the Emperor's boundless love he killed 35 in total what a man and he I bounced us Dropping our army up just by a little bit. It's not a big deal at this point. Gun Lord reporting. Is there a threat? There's a threat. Kugath is back. I could never mm. betray My ancestors I, I think we can lose this. It's not a problem losing this. We, we shouldn't really mess with them right now. The grand scheme of things is finish off this faction and then we can turn around and do whatever we please. The storm dragon. I will make my father they went for a last ditch defense. I have to get through the camps. There's nothing I can do about that. I think you'll be fine. They have no other world. Already have the leadership boost. There's not much we can get from that one. Natural authority. Earn the Emperor's love. They will At least this one's one percent. And I wonder if anyone can make this. Ah, oh, Samai is a beast. Good. Yeah, we need that movement because we want to get to that location fast. What do we want here? It's just one point. I mean, we're working on nothing really. We could work on this line, or I can just first pick up like Will the Dragon first. A tool worthy of a dragon. All right, movement is solid. Picked up. I'm gonna get the golden hound. Set up the siege. Victory. Hmm. This is a sizable army. We we only lose two. As a spearman. Right, so what's our plan now? Like, do we actually need to help them if they're only going to delegate and lose two peasant on spearmen? And then they can rest for a while, right? I can take Melian's army and just beeline for Zurus, and if they siege for a turn at all, I mean, they might not, but if they do, Taltal and Melian pops out here, and we just start putting a hurt on them, and then we let Samai's army wait a bit. Uh, we're basically going to be waiting for him to show up to the hissing pit right so now you can rest for quite a while and then this new army can take over the offense for a little bit and start putting pressure on fire mouth we have a lot of armies now yeah we'll take this just with a delegate saves us some time save us some pain you know stonehorn's not fun to play against we will Faction wipe? No. Wait, no. They have an army. Where? Right, their agent's still on the field. They have an army left. Maybe a camp somewhere? Okay, that's not reassuring. I thought we were going to be fine here. No, I'm not so sure. Well, we're recruiting. Now, is Samai, you gonna get the helicopters? I don't think so. I, I I think if anyone's gonna get them, it might be a fun army. Who's gonna be the for fun army? That's the thing. Maybe we give Sun Tzu this. We have enough to pick up three, four. We can get four max. I think it's gonna be some combination of different type of gyrocopter. A 
Are they really strong? Not, not really. But like, they're fun. I think we get two of each here. Total will be like 50. We can actually afford it. But I don't think it's this army. I think it's the army in the south. Makes more sense. I will not tolerate sloth. We will go with a cheap route, I think. Service it makes sense. They Cathay they do well. They're here to die for us. They are donezo for a while. Power in the um, we could build anything. There's nothing that's really holding us back. Maybe we could go growth. And then just when we have it, go income afterward. I mean, the first two building preferably. Storm both of the buildings for okay can i how far can i march not too far I require a really that there only a little bit no extra fatigue. not enough i think I it's because him blocking can you go far no okay so we can't go really kill him i'm gonna try to go over here Shoot we wait Lord, we are actually taking quite a bit of attrition we wait for them to show up. We're probably going to have to sit here for a little bit. This would be kind of our defensive position. We could lose this. When we're ready to retake this, it'd be retaking everything here, including probably going to war with Tong. I'm still curious. Where's their army? Like this faction, where are they? Can I peace out with you now? No. Where are you? I definitely don't see them on the map, like color-wise. Do I see any pink? No, I don't. No, I don't know. They they probably just have an army, not a land. And that army is probably going to be looking for me soon. Yeah, it's it's fine. Could be worse. All right, you have a tough job. Hissing pit. What's the fastest way for you to go to his? I guess it would still be through this mountain range. Wherever Cathay needs me. And we're also marching hard. Destiny. I have Is it time to wipe him? Not really. I think I can wait longer. All right, swim to a boy. We got the camp. We can still heal here. It's friendly territory. We ignore the tough siege there, and we go for the Great Hall. I can buy you some. Oh, I actually failed. Spill. Fight in perfect harmony. We will. Four percent is actually pretty big. Child of the Nine. All right. We're aiming for this. This is the time to take over this army. Because he's going north. I don't want him to go north. I want him to go south to help us. Perfect. Might as well look at this while we are here. Yes. He's really feeling the pressure. All right, so I have him. He's going to assist our siege here on the Great Hall. We'll use his manpower to sort of die here and we'll take it over. And then he can help us take Ample Peak as well. This siege might wait a little bit. We are at war with everyone, so it's not not bad. We could fight this. Black Fane, it's kind of too far north. Our, our Dwarven allies are pressuring here. They might take it. It's interesting. There's a Zinch army here too. It's a pretty big Zinch army as well. So basically, they they turn this way rather than this way, which I'm glad because I have nothing here. But my brother's here, so perhaps because I put him in between us, he stopped attacking us because you know AI bias. Like the closest way to me is not this way, but the other way. Celestial ancestors. All right, so that's all good. I think it's just Dragon holding up the garrison situation. Tosal is also not moving. That's fine. I mean, if the faction's not dead, we go kill him. 
You're in a great spot. You're in a great spot. I'm trying to get you to go north. You're ready north. You leveled up. They do level up standing still because boost income does factor in. Alright, so that's all good. Compass is happy. Diplomacy is happy. I think we're actually in a good spot. But building's not done. Look at that symbol. Alright, we have cash. This is pricey, but we'll do it. Now, do I want to do any of those crazy building flips that kind of messed us up? Alright, this is supposed to be this building, and now that goes down, and then we're balanced, and then that becomes spice, and this is a perfectly happy setup. I think we're good. Maybe I will look at some flips, because... Like, this doesn't need to be like this. Are they... This is the final upgrade. This one is also the final upgrade? Because it's going to five. This one still has one more. Oh, that one's super pricey. So, yeah, any discount we can get is fine. Red Fortress is also super pricey. Because the climate... That's the one I want to flip. But they're not done building yet, so there's no rush here. Any finished building that we can flip? That's perfect, that's perfect, that's perfect. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Wait, what are we picking here? Hello, we're not danger in danger anymore. Yeah, there's a lot of things we gotta be mindful of. That's perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine. I thought there was one more that I could flip. Maybe it is the Red Fortress one, it's just outside, so it's not really relevant right now. Yeah, maybe it is just Red Fortress. Eastern Step also is not something we want to touch right now. Yeah, everything's good. Um, I don't need this research rate times 7%. It doesn't do us any good, so we'll all go to income plus 5. If that's possible, that is getting swapped, right? Yeah, that is getting swapped. Okay, Great Bastion's different. We don't have the whole province on some of these. Control is good. Control is now still plus six at all the peaks, so I think we can actually go for income now in the Wallery. All right, things look great. Let's continue. Oh, <laughs> he has a little movement queued up. I can probably get another army out of the field in the future. We do have that one solo guy right now running around. I can also increase the quality of my armies. So it's getting a plague, but it's not getting sieged. That's interesting. Uh, we're not moving this turn. That's terrible. Can't wait to wipe out Zinch. He's like, we don't get to play this turn, basically. Like, we don't get to move. Buys everyone time to recruit new things against None. us. Hmm. It's fine. We're getting a neutral tech. Oh, interesting how that went down to... Okay, a lot of things that's just not balanced. Um... This is this is awkward. We probably should have recruit someone when we get a chance so that we can just get rid of them. How do we take care of this situation? And why are we always getting into in situations real quick? Character? Is it character though? I don't mind firing him. Guess I don't mind firing him either. Alright, we're balanced. That's key. My tech dilemma is another thing. I guess we were sustained by the steel tech that we had going on. Now that we don't have it, can I kill him? He's like right. I don't have to move, right? I can just. I, I just have no action. I can't kill him. 
Uh, I can't get him. Um, I don't have to solve it this turn because this is finishing anyways in one turn. But the next turn, we definitely get a steel tech in. So I guess I don't have to flip one of the... I mean, if we're going to flip any of them, there's less income up north because of the climate. But this is a trade income. This isn't just that income. It's trade income. Hmm... I think it's vital we get this up. So we will switch this again. Not getting siege, that's great news. I am going to upgrade Last Guy Castle first because it actually has salt resource. Yeah, tell me which one I can move and I'll move them, I promise. I think we're good. Sima Yi ranked up. From doing what? Man's frozen in place for a turn. Um. Or his army. It's a mix of everything, to be honest. But from these bonuses, getting extra ammo, missile strength on the cannons are really good. Getting defensive bonuses and melee attack for the frontline units are really good. Getting missile strength and range, really good. Um, I think we start here. It befits my high station. Like, I think there's an opportunity for, because he goes to rank 50, right? And there's 78 of them upgrade here. We can get 49 of them. So I think we can get multiple ones. We can get all three of these maybe. Rally, that's 10 points. And then Fast Hand for sure. Yeah, that, that might be it. Fast Hand plus Stand Your Ground. 12 points. We already got one. So 11 more points. We're rank 32, 43, 7 more points. 7, so like 6, 5, 4... Three, two, one, and we still get like one more point to play around with. Yeah, we got, we got, yeah, we, we're fine. We got plenty of points, way more than we need. What's the plague doing? Local replenishment, that's not too bad. The control situation, we could just not collect, but that would still be a rebellion. I mean, we can answer it. It's fine. We'll let it rebel. We can't move this turn. What can we do, right? We can check diplomacy. I am Yes. Uh, I'll take it. By Sigma's will. Come All right. So. None shall question. That's really high. Nine point one. Zhao Ming. That's also really high. I mean, if you give me all your souls, <laughs> we can do it. But. uh... Aside from that, where are they? They have no land. They have no land. I see they have no land. Right? No settlements. Ogre Kingdom has no settlements. I don't know if they have an army or not. He has one settlement, so uh, that's too far away. We're not really going to mind them. That's Hell Pit. That's closer to Katrin than us. That's really, really far away. But they have 23 settlements. Scrag's doing so well. He probably crushed the Empire. Goldtooth is number one enemy. Of course, there's still Kairos and all the Chaos factions we, we cannot peace out, right? So that's not an option. All right, we're good. Let's just go. Forced to delay ourselves for a turn. Excellent. You have He's pleading for peace. Your demise. No. Ah, oh, our poor, poor, poor. Are we beating Gorgers here? I don't think we're beating Gorgers. They're unbreakable. They're really strong. They're anti-infantry. Guess what we have? Infantry. I'm okay with them dying. It's fine. Let's just get this over with. Eventually, we'll push through the mountains. It'll be all under our control. Peaceful time. No one's gonna touch them. 
but now is not that time. <laughs> this, by the way, is not our army, and he is not going to live to see the day where he rejoins his force. Okay. Alright, so, um, they're reforming a new army here. But we're going to take the Great Hall. I'm pretty sure we can do that in two turns. This is pretty much their timing as well. So we'll hit them together. They might come at us from behind, but I think they're just going to recruit. So they're probably not going to do much. Um, and if they do wipe out that force, I'm okay with that. We're getting a rebel force. Not that strong. Kairos is here. We're going to go out and meet Kairos and Kugath. Samai deserves a small break. We're moving a full stack new army into this area. They're going for Fire Mouth, and they're probably going to join up over here eventually uh, with the forces down here. I'm going to trust Grimtop, uh, but they're recruiting armies right in our face. Maybe we do need to wipe this out and just like that way we just cut them off and you know we know Greases don't have anything anymore over here and then we go north and it'd be just one direction but we also have this army for eight turns so I feel like we need them to be involved. Don't want to waste that opportunity. But the big win for this episode is we took Shangyang and we did have to trade Taizul but like eventually I think I can get this back okay he, he really you. loves it right now right like I said but like eventually I think he's not gonna love it that much and then we can we can trade it for like one of the sky monolith perhaps you know right now it just doesn't look feasible and if we have to go to war and take it from him it's much easier to take this than Shaoyang and Shaoyang is just with the landmark building just so much better so yeah big win a big scar in the middle of Grand Cathay but that's fine um, my brother has pieces of the mountain. This is actually super good. I think it really discouraged Kairos from going this way towards us. And now we can break out in the north again uh, with these three armies. Fourth one coming over here to help over here. We have one army here plus the loaned army. Uh, we need him to get a hissing pit afterward. We might consider building out another new army because we can definitely afford it. Another like 8,000 wouldn't hurt us that much. We will still have like a 7,000 economy, and once we incorporate more land, we'll make more money, and we can afford these new armies. So that's the goal, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and we'll see you all next time. Bye!